Bad Axe Bourbon, good and bad of 2022. This is my version of the best of and worst of, the good and the bad of 2022. Everybody does their top 10 list, that's fine. I just wanna do something different. This is my version of that, my little take on it. I swing my ax and all kinds of stuff like that. So here's my best good and my worst bad of 2022. I got a little help from my wife too, a little reminders here and there. Let's get started. What we got? All right, so I'm gonna start with, let's go with the bad first and work my way up to the good. All right, got my independent Joe Glenn right here. In case I wanna taste some of this stuff, I might have to taste a little bit of it. I got my Tall Guy Creations right there on my slate. He's working on some Glens for me. They're gonna be bad acts, people. Uh, so this is gonna be the least worst. The last one I show you is gonna be the worst bad. Here we go. So I don't know if you can see all these numbers here. We're gonna go from the bottom up, five up to one. We're gonna start with the bad, and then we'll go to the good. My number five is gonna be the best of the bad, which number one will be the worst of the bad. You get it. George Dickel Barrel Select. I just really don't like the Dickel. <laughs> yeah, really just don't like the George Dickel. Yeah, it was like 35, 40 bucks, total wine, uh, store pick, Barrel Select. I thought it'd be better, it's just not. I just don't like it. I don't like that Tennessee whiskey flavor profile that they got. Not good. Tickle Barrel Select. DBS. So it'll fit. What's next on the chopping block? Let's see. So this one uh, might be a little controversial since it won uh, some kind of award lately. I don't get it. Come on now. Really? Jack Daniels Bonded? Which brings me to this. The Jack Daniels Bottle and Bond. It's the same thing. You just couldn't get this until this came out, right? This was duty free, still is. And this isn't, you can get this anywhere. Whiskey of the year, come on, man. Give me a break. Everyone's got their opinion. A lot of people like the old number seven. That's another problem I have with it. Just me, it's my opinion. This old number seven at 100 proof. And I don't like old number seven, but you know, a lot of people do. The best selling American whiskey in the world. So there's that, right? There's, there's the controversial pick for me. It's the fourth best of the worst all right same thing better deal this is a liter bottle this is a 700 milliliter bottle there's that all right so the third best of the bad is one he has no i don't like basil hayden toast oh no the dirty feet smell taste itself right here basil hayden toast not good it's bad everybody knows i don't like that Number two, what's number two of the best of the bad? This is one of the reasons why I waited till after the new year to do the good and the bad of 2022. I got like five or six in the last month and a half, two months that I'm like, oh, this is really good. Oh, uh, it just it just bumped a couple out of these top spots. And then I got a couple that were absolutely incredibly horrible. Thank you, Whiskey Fancies. Thank you very much. They sent me, hey, they sent me a lot of stuff, but they when they sent me this, they, I didn't put them back in a bag because I didn't want to take any chances of any overspill or anything like that because these are absolutely incredibly horrible. <laughs> it even says on the back there, warning, drink at your own risk. Whiskey Fancies, you guys are incredible. And I actually tried these live with Sean, Whiskey Wars. This stuff is terrible. We got Obtanium Polish Rye Pork Cask, and then we got Chattanooga Vatted High Malt absolutely atrocious as well. One of them tastes like burning rubber tires and the other one tastes like deep woods off. You know, that mosquito bug spray. It is terrible. And if you've ever had Malort, which I think tastes like if you eat mint chip ice cream and then you just throw it up. And then for some reason, if you drank it again, that's what I believe that flavor would be. Malort is absolutely terrible and you can't get rid of that flavor. Uh, I believe it's the Obtanium Polish Rye that is the DEET, Deep Woods Off. I could not get that flavor out of my mouth. Like if you drank orange juice and then brushed your teeth. It's that horrible flavor. It is terrible. They're both bad. We got the uh, Chattanooga Vatted High Malt at number two of the worst. And then we got our winner here of the worst of the bad is the Obtanium Polish Rye Pork Cast Finish. Again, thank you, Whiskey Fancies. It's absolutely horrible. It's bad. It's the worst. All right, ooh, Joe. Ooh, almost had to ask you for a new one. All right, let's get rid of this stuff. 
All right, let's get over to the good, good stuff here. Number five on my list. It was really hard. Like I said, I had like two or three entries in the last month and a half that pushed a few out that I thought were definitely in the top five. But I just got a couple of them. Like I had to make game time decisions here, people. Here we go. Number five of the best of the good. Yep, this is a, it's been a mainstay. Well or foolproof. It's my number five in the best of the good. It's just nice and smooth. It's a high proof and it's weeded. I like this. I like this stuff. Thanks, Robert. All right, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a turkey guy. I got this sent to me, I don't know, six weeks ago, less than two months ago. This is one of the ones that pushed its way in, forced its way into the, the top five here. This is the, the Russell's Reserve Private Barrel Selection sent to me by Shane, Storytime Distillery, a liquor by the Lake Pick. Absolutely delicious, really cherry forward, all those turkey notes. It's just an awesome pick. Thank you, Shane. Russell's Private Barrel Selection, delicious. Here's my number three of the best of the good, right here. And number three, counting down from five to one, from Dry Creek Liquor, this nine year Elijah Craig Single Barrel Private Barrel, absolutely delicious. A lot of chocolatey caramel flavors, a little bit of char in there, absolutely delicious. Great, great bottle. It's good too, it's good. Number three of the best of the good. Number two, this number two right here got sent to me by Shane of Storytime Distillery. Five nights, not five nights, that's the video game. Dang, Friday night at Freddy's, cigar blend. Blinded this with a couple of Joseph Magnus blends. This came out on top, absolutely delicious. 120.5 proof, it's uh, finished in cognac barrels. Six and a half year old MGP, absolutely delicious. Shane, you did an absolutely outstanding job. That is my number two of the best of the good, right? Fred. CB for the cigar blend. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, Shane. So we're down to this now. My number one best of the good this year. I'm sure a lot of you will really find this very, very surprising. I've been talking them up all year and deservedly so. Breaking Bourbon, rye of the year. The Corbin Cash 1917 Merced Rye. Absolutely, incredibly delicious. 100% rye. Found a bottle. They're about an hour away from where I live. I'm, I'm proud to say that. And I'm glad they're getting the recognition finally that they deserve. Absolutely incredible people and incredible product. Bottle's cool. The name is cool. This is absolutely delicious. This is the one that I'm going to call my winner, but they have single barrels, a six year single barrel, eight year single barrel. It's absolutely delicious. So this is it. That's the winner right there. That's my best of the good for 2022 people. Corbin Cash 1917 Merced Rye. Let's do this. Corbin Cash 1917. Winner, that's it. Corbin Cash, 1917 Merced Rye, absolutely incredible. You just need to taste this stuff. You need to have this. Everybody across the United States, hopefully that happens soon. But they just distribute inside California right now. Hopefully it gets out there. I'm sure it will, word's out now. I gotta go get some more, you know, before I can't get it. Anyway, that's it, that's my list. I do have a couple of uh, honorable mentions my wife wanted to throw in here for me. My bad axe wife, Elisa, she wanted to throw a couple in there for you guys. So here's the bonus. So here's her disappointments. We'll go ahead and just say the Bardstown Discovery Series. Pick a number. We have three or four of them. We finally learned they get talked up so much. And this is a big disappointment. And I actually don't hate it. It's just the hype. I don't get the hype behind it. But that's my wife's favorite profile. This is her pick, not mine. So. This is one of her disappointments. It'd go in the bad for her. And the old uh, Bib and Tucker 12 year. I actually like this one. This is the uh, Port Night Rises that she just not too fond of. I'll put it to you like this. She absolutely loves this. And she had this first, the cognac finish, the Friday Night at Fred's. And then she had the port finish. She doesn't really like port. So the worry is if you don't like port, you're probably not gonna like this, you know, so. And, and that's what happened. But she absolutely loves this. And I think she, she had this first and then had this. It made this one a, a disappointment. This, she absolutely loves it. Friday Night Fred's Cigar Blend, absolutely incredible. Go do it. But if you like port, give this a shot. I think it's pretty good. All right, there you go. There's that. Also, some honorable mentions for her. The Frank August 
she thinks is, is pretty good, but the bottle just puts it over the top for her. That Frank August. It's decent. It's pretty good stuff. But that bottle does put it over top. Nice decanter style bottle. I think this here is another one for her on her good list is a seagrass. I don't know who doesn't like seagrass. I mean, I like this seagrass better than the 16 year, honestly. But this and the dovetail definitely are gonna be on her list all the time. She knows what she likes and she sticks to it. Hey, I'm gonna wrap this sucker up. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my top one here. My top pick, little bit right there, 123 proof. Corbin Cash, 1917 Merced Rye. The best of the good for Bad Axe Bourbon in 2022. Confirmed with my Bad Axe wife. All right, absolutely delicious. All right, cheers to 2022 and cheers to 2023 going forward. All right, let's have another great year. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. I'll be giving one of these bottles away right here. This 1917 Merced Rye on the uh, thousand subscriber uh, episode with Clickbait Burnsy. Cheers to everyone. Thank you for everything. Corbin Cash, 1917 Merced Rye, 2022. It's good! The best of the year for me.